Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull. Welcome back to my channel. Let me show you something. Here's one of my stores. It has a 9.62 returning customer rate. And check out this other one. It has a 27.27 .27 returning customer rate. Why does this store has so many repeat customers, while the other one just has the average? Well, the difference between these two stores is that in one of them, I use three techniques and apps to help motivate repeat customers and also to build loyalty to my brand. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set everything up and all the quirks and features of these apps. Because the cool thing about this is that once you set everything up, you basically don't have to touch it. You will just start getting repeat purchases on a continuous basis. And let me tell you that getting a repeat customer order is one of the best feelings that you can have as a merchant. Not only is it rewarding to see that someone loves your products and your brand so much that they will buy again and again from you, but also it is a lot cheaper to maintain a customer than to acquire one. And some companies need repeat customers because the cost to acquire a new customer is extremely expensive, way more than just one purchase from one person. So when they get one customer that buys again and again and again, it not only subsidizes new ads for new people to come in, but also it increases the lifetime value of that customer and it actually starts bringing profit to the table. All right, so the first thing that we need to add to our website is a loyalty and rewards program. Now, there are a lot of apps that you can use to do this, but I'm going to show you the one that I use on my stores. And it is the Appstill Loyalty and Rewards. It allows you to give points to your customers for completing actions. For example, if they share on their social media, you will give them some points. If they buy $50, you will give them five points. If they refer you a customer, you will give them some points. Or you can also offer them free shipping. You can give them free products. You can set it up in a way that your customers can decide where to spend their points. Would they want to get free shipping or a discount or maybe Maybe they just want free products added to their orders. You can even gift some points to your customers on a special day like, hey, this is your birthday. Here, take 20 points. Come buy again from our store. Okay. And this is something really cool. You can provide tiers. Like in the example here, if they spend $100, you give them a sign up bonus and two points for every dollar they spend. But if they spend $300, you also give them a birthday gift. And if they're platinum, then, you know, they also get early access to sales and so on. You can configure this as you please. This is all looking pretty cool, but I'm going to show you how it looks in an actual store, a live store. The first step is obviously you have to install the app. OK, I'm going to leave the link in the description so that you can find it easily. Once you install it, it's going to ask you to enable the app embed. OK, so it's just going to be a pop up that it appears and you can just click on enable and it will open your Shopify customizer. In here, you can just toggle on the App Store loyalty app. All right. And click on save. As soon as you install the app, it's already going to show on your website right here. But of course, we need to actually customize it with the colors of our store. OK, because right now, I think this blue doesn't really go with my store. And also you will have to customize all the rewards and how they can earn the points. Let's go ahead and start customizing this. So this is the back end panel. OK, you get some analytics here. And the first thing that we need to add is an activity rule. So let's click on create first activity rule. All right. So here this is the stuff that people can do to earn points. All right. So they can make a purchase and you will give them points when they visit your store on their birthday, if they buy a specific product or products from a collection. Also, if they like your page and follow you, all right, if they follow you on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, everywhere. Also, if they leave reviews. But to make it simple, let's start with just one rule. All right. And this is one that I have on all of my stores and it's a new customer rule. Every time they create an account, they're going to get a reward for the name. We're just going to leave customer sign up and then customer facing label will be get points for sign up as a new customer points will be replaced by whatever points you put here on the base points. So let's give them five points. OK, if they sign up and we're going to set this rule as active. All right. So let's click on save. And there we have our first activity rule. OK, it's going to give us five points and it's active right now. So let's check it out on the website. Let's see ways to earn. 
and right here, customer sign up, get five points for signing up as a new customer, okay? And all the activity rules that you put will appear here. Now let's go ahead and create a reward rule. So create first reward rule. Let's give them free shipping. Let's create the reward. The name will be free shipping reward. That's fine. Cost to redeem. Let's say that we want them to spend 10 points to redeem free shipping. For the maximum shipping rate, I'm actually going to put $10 because this actually, instead of being free shipping reward, I'm going to change it to free priority shipping reward because on my store, I already offer free shipping. So, you know, this is a higher incentive. So let's refresh the page and let's see if our new reward is added. Ways to redeem. Okay, free priority shipping reward. Redeem 10 points to get free shipping on max shipping amount $10. You know, you can change this to whatever text you want on the settings. You can also add referral rewards, okay? You can also have your tiers here on VIP. You just put your tiers. But let's go ahead and check out the widget settings. In here, you can decide if you want to show the widget, you know, apply tags, choose the title, choose a logo, all right? Choose where you want it on the bottom left or bottom right. And then you have the widget labels. Whatever you change here is gonna change on the entire widget, all right? Then you have appearance, which is where you change all of the colors. You can also add custom CSS if you need advanced you know, customizations. Uh, check out the frequently asked questions. You can modify this, okay? So that people can read all of the details. This is a good spot to put frequently asked questions, not only about the loyalty and rewards program, but also about your website, shipping and all of that. So I think you get the idea, right? Uh, this is super complete. Once you install it, then you just let it go. You don't have to touch it anymore unless you want to change some rewards or something, but you can basically just let it run, okay? And just collect the sales, check out the analytics, you know, to see that it's working, if there's anything that you need to improve. But, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, the app, you know, uh, go check it out. The, I leave the link in the description. Now, let's go with our second technique, sending emails. But I'm not just talking about the automations that automatically send out an email when the customer abandons the checkout or when they log in for the first time to your store. I'm talking about complete newsletters that are sent out every week or every time there is a special event coming up. And for this, I have to use an app because there's no way that I have enough time to create email newsletters for every single special occasion that there is, like President's Day, Siblings Day, whatever. So I use Tiny Einstein because this app automatically drafts all the emails for the whole month. You know, it knows about special occasions. Let me show you here, for example, I have it active in one of my stores here and it has already generated $297 is pretty cool and if we go to campaigns it generated emails for the entire month you see all the way there so for example here this one already sent this one already sent this one is scheduled this one is scheduled so you can activate or deactivate or you can preview the emails for example you can click here check out the preview the way this works is that when you install the app it's going to ask you for a few things like it's gonna ask you to select a layout, like how minimalistic or colorful or professional you want your uh, emails to be. And then you select a tone, so uplifting, entertaining, formal, whatever. And then you tell them a little bit about your website. What I do is I just copy paste the about us of my website and also copy paste the products, you know, just one or two products because all my products are the same. I just copy paste the description of the products just so that it gets an additional idea about what I'm selling. And then when you click here on campaigns, then you click on generate and it will generate, you know, all the emails for the month. So that's pretty cool. But also, you know, you can have the automation set up and you can have win back flows product reviews thank you for your purchase abandon cards browse abandonment and also a welcome series of emails all right and the cool thing is that you don't have to write anything because ai is gonna write everything it uses gpt to create the content for your emails so you don't have to worry about anything you just install it and let it go and you know so far it has been bringing me you know, good conversions. Look, like I installed it, like, I don't know, I think it was a week ago. It already sent two campaigns. The first one generated $250 and the second one was just sent and it already had one conversion. 
and it was like a $30 conversion. So, you know, I'm sure much more conversions to come. And these emails that it sent, let me show you, it was for Mother's Day and it was sent about a week ago. And then it automatically sent another one on the 9th. So that was two days ago, right? The next one that it's gonna send is gonna be on the 16th. So you see, it also had one for Workers' Day, but I didn't send that one because that was happening on the same day that I was installing the app and I you know, didn't have time to activate it. I actually forgot to activate it. So that's one thing you have to, once it generates all of the emails for the month, just make sure that you go through and activate, activate, activate all of the emails. I'm also leaving the link in the description so you can find this app easily. And let's go with our technique number three and it is to offer subscriptions on your store. And almost any product that you sell can be offered as a subscription. So people can uh, recurrently buy that product. And if you don't believe me, just go to Amazon, check out any product like, a, I don't know, a door hinge, and you will have the options to subscribe and save. And who's gonna be buying door hinges every month? You know, so, you know, it works. If they put it, it works. So the way I do this is with an app called AppStill Subscriptions. And let me show you how it looks on the back end. Uh, let's see, I have this product here that you can buy as a one-time purchase or you can subscribe and save. You see, instead of being $40, it's $32. And you can subscribe monthly or bi-weekly. And whatever you choose, you know, you're gonna be getting that specific product, you know, a set of white and black t-shirt every two weeks or every month. So, you know, super easy to set up. I actually already have a fully dedicated video where I show you how to set this up. I'm going to leave it right here so you can check it out or also watch this video if you want to sell more on your online store. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out. <laughs>